Hey everyone, welcome back to another video review. Today we're going to be looking at the Zalman CNPS 9900 Max CPU Cooler. Alright, and this is a CPU cooler itself. Now this has a very nice look and it does look a little bit different from most CPU coolers out there because of this round design and the mounted fan in the middle, which by the way you cannot take out, so if that breaks down, I'm not sure how that would work, but I think if that breaks down the entire cooler is actually useless. But uh, let's not really start off with that sentence. Let's start off with actually that the cooler looks very nice. You have a uh, entire copper uh, CPU cooler here, that which is nickel plated, and nickel plated with a black pearl color apparently. So that is a color of the heat sinks, uh, well the blades right here, and also the heat pipes. And anyway, this is a 135 millimeter fan in the middle here, and you can actually have this in two colors because there's LEDs in the fan. And this one here is red LEDs, but you can also have that with blue LEDs. So this heatsink has three heat pipes, and you have uh, well, it might appear like you have six in total because if you have a look here, it might look like you have six, but actually you have three of those. So there's one here and it goes around the heatsink through all the blades, and then back in the base plate right there. And as you can see, a very flat base plate, and. Uh, then there's two more here, so one here in the back and one here, like that. And they also both go round the heatsink back inside the base plate. And the base plate is very flat, so actually so flat that I can reflect myself in it and my camera. So that would probably give a very good contact. Continuing, the fan itself has a 4-pin connector for PWM control and the fan can go up to 1700 RPM so that would be the fastest speed it would run at but you can let that go down with the included um, resistor and then that would be 1500 RPM max. Now some other things that are included with this cooler are all screws for the installation and as well as a tool and the back plates and some stickers and some other plastic things to put on the back plate for installation. Um, what else is a case badge? Oh, and not forget the thermal paste. And this is the Zalman SDG2 thermal paste. And then there's also the brackets for Intel and AMD and a resistor for the fan. All right, let's go over to the installation of the cooler. Now, what we first need to do is install these brackets onto the CPU cooler itself. So let me do that quickly. All right, and to do so, we take the cooler and we should screw these screws loose, apparently. So I'm just following the uh, manual like I always do, so bear with me. All right, and what we do then is slide the brackets through here and then fasten these screws again, so I'm gonna do that now. Alright, and that's done. So now the next step, we have to start working on the back plate for the motherboard. So this is the back plate, and we have to take these little nuts here. We have to stick them through the correct hole, so I think it's the middle hole here. If I'm incorrect, I'll do that again myself, but just to show you guys, you gotta pull or just push it through the hole. Sorry, that wasn't even the middle hole, but anyway. And then you slide that metal or plastic piece over the uh, thing here, and then that nut is fastened. Alright, done. As you can see, what we do now is add some thermal paste. So we include the Thermal Grease ZM SDG2. So a little bit of that. more than enough really more than enough actually and let me put the cooler on top All right, and putting the uh, cooler on top is actually quite easy we just have to make sure the orientation is right so the fan should be like this with the thinner heatsink on this side and we put it on top of the cooler make sure that there's nothing covering the bottom here but there isn't 
anything covering here, so that's okay. And the fastening happens with these screws and this tool that they include. Something that's actually quite nice is that there's this little rounded point here, which allows you to actually screw in a corner like this. So that's quite useful with this uh, cooler because otherwise you can't screw those uh, screws right there. All right, and the cooler is on. Looks quite nice. Looks actually very cool, and it's very sturdy. Now I still gotta connect the uh, connector here, so let me do that. And I'm gonna put this on my test bench. I'm going to test the temperatures, and well, you can see them right here. and as you saw the cooler is very very good it went to the top of our lists here especially in the full load section so in idle the cooler was very good um, it performed quite well there were there are still a few better coolers according to our tests that we've done with our coolers but if you have a look at the full load of all the coolers we've tested this one sticks out above the rest and that's well, it's amazing, I didn't really expect it. So, actually, price performance wise, this cooler is quite good. It's a little more expensive than most of the other coolers that we've tested, but you also get a little bit more performance. Now, uh, let's talk aesthetics. Well, the cooler looks quite nice, it's actually got a very unique design. But, um, yeah, you've got those LEDs, but actually they are not very bright. Someone said they are too bright in his opinion, or if I, I, I might have misread that. Uh, I said that on YouTube, I think. But, um, yeah, they're not very bright, so the cooler is right here, and you don't really see any red, uh, red glow. But you actually see it the best in the dark, and then it's actually a very subtle uh, color and uh, it kind of looked like a fireball like you know with the red cooler uh, when I look at it in the dark it kind of looks like some kind of fireball but it's not very bright so um, it's not really gonna be sticking out or, or, or shining right into your eyes if you have a window or something so I think that's quite good actually so some people might find that negative some people might find that good I don't know but I just want to throw that out there um, something else. Yeah, the installation of the cooler was also uh, quite easy. There were no problems, you just have to read the manual very carefully. That's all you have to do with this cooler and follow the steps. Um, and other than that, yeah, I have to say that this cooler uh, has been doing very well for the review. No problems. Um, noise, that's another thing that I haven't talked about. It's kind of thinking what I hadn't talked about yet. But, uh, yeah, noise. It isn't the most silent cooler uh, out there, that's the only thing I have to say. So, in idle, or when you're just browsing, or on the web doing stuff, or doing stuff on your computer, like using Office or whatever, it's not gonna make a lot of noise, because you're just, you know, not really putting much load on, the, on, the, on your CPU, so the cool, cooler is not gonna have to cool that much. So, it's gonna be silent then. But if you're gaming, the uh, cooler 
will automatically go uh, will sp automatically spin faster so it will be louder so just overall it's not the most silent cooler out there I've heard uh, more silent coolers I've heard louder coolers too but I've heard more silent coolers than this one so yeah that's the cooler also while playing games so while while I play Battlefield 3 for example or Ruse those are quite heavy games for your CPU um, yeah, you heard the cooler um, going faster quite often, so perhaps for some people that will be important to know. But anyway, that was the only thing negative about this entire cooler. Uh, everything is good about it, in my opinion. Performance, price, aesthetics, installation, it's all there. So this cooler uh, deserves a solid, brilliant award. And uh, yeah, alright, thanks for watching this video review, guys. If you want a full list of pros and cons, you can go to our website, and the link will be below. That is www.ccreviews.eu. You can leave comments on the website as well as here on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And thanks to Zalman for sponsoring us for this review. And I'll see you guys in the next video.